I'm Fox 4's Anvar Ruziev, and we're here just off Estero Boulevard on Fort Myers Beach. This road has seen an uptick in traffic since the holidays, especially going west to get off the island. How long have you been in traffic? Uh, we've been in traffic for an hour and 45 minutes, and it's ridiculous. Uh, a little over an hour and 45 minutes. And how far have you gone? About three miles. Four, four miles. miles. Four, four miles. miles. And how long have you been in traffic? Two hours. Yeah. Here. One and a half hours. We come from the Hilton here. It's a traffic light, definitely. Do you think it's something to do with that new light that they put in? Over it there? has to be. It has to be. The light is right here, Estero and Crescent Street, just outside of the new Margaritaville Beach Resort. Lee County told us that the traffic light is part of an overall plan to improve traffic flow on and off the island and that eventually drivers should see a difference. How can people get around this? Drive south to Bonita Beach and go around Estero Bay or just pedaling. We seen on the GPS that it was going to take like what 30, 40, 40 minutes, 40 something minutes. So I just parked on the side and I said, hey, let's get let's get on the bike and just bicycle ride there. We were on the bus with the family and the father and a small child got off the bus and walked and they they made the same speed we did. So there is really a traffic problem. Expect the work to last throughout the year with two more signals along a sterile boulevard, one on each side of Matanzas Pass Bridge. As the decades of being able to drive the dozen miles from Bonita Beach to Matanzas Pass Bridge without encountering a traffic light are over. We asked FDOT how adding more traffic lights will help, especially when drivers face this. The Department of Transportation notes that this is to control the flow of traffic, which is, as you can see, is very heavy here in the busy season. Reporting from Fort Myers Beach, Anvar Ruziev, Fox 4 News.